Hey, it's Coach Martinez, a PE teacher at Lively Elementary in Irving ISD. This week we're going to be talking about tossing and catching. Let's see what our teeks say about what we need to know. In each one of our teeks, it tells us that we should be able to demonstrate key elements in manipulative skills such as underhand tossing and catching. So that's what we're working on. To demonstrate means that you need to show it. So you should be able to show someone either at home or wherever um, an adult is, show them that you can do those key elements. Key elements means the main parts or the main topics for each skill. So we don't just do the skill, there's main parts that go with it. We call those key elements. And we'll look at those here in a second. It says key elements in manipulative skills. Take your hands like this. Pretend you have a ball or some kind of item and I want you to manipulate it around. Yeah, that means to like move or to change, to manipulate. We do that a lot in a lot of sports, changing or moving the ball from place to place or an item or equipment. So manipulative skills, and it says two that we're gonna focus on today, such as underhand tossing and catching. Underhand tossing means your hand is under the item or the ball. If I had a ball here, if I'm gonna toss it, my hand is under, so I take a step and lift, under. That's different than throwing. Throwing your hand is on top. So not throwing today, but we're looking at tossing. So when you are tossing, um, you need to make sure you take a step, bring the ball back behind you, you're gonna scoop down low and then lift it up high. Here's what I mean. You're stepping with your opposite foot. So if I have the ball in this hand, then I need to step with the foot that's on the opposite side. Step, take just a step forward. Then I have to bring the ball back. Not way, way up here behind you. Just swing your arm back. Then you need to scoop. Think about like if you had an ice cream scoop and you wanna dip down low. Same thing here, with the ball back, you're gonna bend your knees and scoop kind of low. And then last part is push straight up with your legs, reach out with your arm and you're gonna release or let go of the ball as you reach across your body. Here's what it looks like together. Step, back, scoop, lift and then you would let go of the ball. Let me show you one more time. Step, back, scoop, lift. And that's called tossing. The other part is if you're on the other end and you need to catch it or receive it, here's the key elements that you can use for catching. First thing is you need to make eye contact with the person that's throwing it to you and definitely with the item that's coming to you. Eye contact, look at the item or the object. Second thing is you need to give them a target. So get your hands up ready to receive it. Usually right here in front of your heart, if you're receiving it sometimes down low or wherever you want the ball to go, like um, in baseball or maybe basketball, when you're telling somebody, hey, I want the ball over here, you would show them, give them a target. So that's what we say, target up. If you're just playing catch with somebody, you might just have your hands in front of you. So have the target up. Eye contact, target up. Track the ball, I mean, watch it with your eyes, track it. It might be going to the right, it might be going to the left, it might be going up high or down low, so make sure you watch it with your eyes and track where it's going. And then lastly is you're gonna soak it up, which means if the ball's coming in, you wanna ease it in so it doesn't slam and fall down, you're soaking it up, so we call it sponge. Let's look at that one more time. Eye contact, target up, track the ball means to watch it, and then lastly, you're gonna to have to move to it and soak up the force and sponge so that it actually stays in your hand. It doesn't just hit and fall. Let's look at that once again. Eye contact, target up, track the ball, move to it, and sponge or catch it. Now, you repeat after me. Eye contact, target up, track the ball, sponge. Now, when we say sponge and kind of track the ball, you also have to use your brain to kind of move. If it's going too short, you might have to move up. If it's going too far, you might have to have to move back or down low or up. So track the ball and sponge kind of all work together. One more time, repeat after me. Eye contact, target up, track the ball, sponge. Good, now let's look back at that underhand tossing. Repeat after me. Pretend you have a ball in your hand. Ready, step. Back, scoop, lift. Again, pretend you have a ball in your hand. Step, back, scoop, lift. Now, do that two times on your own. A little 
quicker this time. Good, all right. Let's pretend like it's real life, like you're gonna get a ball and go, so it should kind of all be one smooth movement. Pretend someone can get you a ball, or you reach and get a ball, and then do it three times on your own through a smooth movement. Try it. Step back, scoop, lift. Good, let's look one more time at catching. If the ball's coming, you're not gonna go step by step, by step, you're gonna do it all together as one smooth movement. So pretend someone's about to throw you the ball and you're gonna catch it. First thing is make that eye contact, get your target, show them where you want it, track the ball when it comes, and sponge. Let's try it again. I'll pretend to throw you a ball. Ready to catch? Eye contact, target up, here it comes. Did you catch it? Good, I'll throw you another one, one more time. Eye contact before we go, here it comes. Good job. So this week you're going to have several chances to do some self-toss, tossing it up and down to yourself, all different tricks and designs, um, working on some tossing, as well as using a game, we're going to be tossing it to a target or to a basket or um, some kind of um, area that you have. And you'll see that um, down below in our links. And then also practicing a little bit of catching. You guys have a great week, and let's keep working hard.